Hello and welcome back to the Villa View. I'm Dan Bardell and today I'm going to be talking centre-backs, in particular Kieran Clark and Nathan Baker. So if that kind of thing floats your boat, then stay tuned. First off, like a lot of Aston Villa players, it's quite obvious that Kieran Clark and Nathan Baker, they polarise opinion amongst Villa fans. And although I do like both, I can see why that is the case. I mean, both have had moments where they've looked pretty solid, but there's also been times where they've, they've been so, so rash. They've, they've had moments of madness and they have, to be honest, in Lambert's first season in particular, they did cost us games. But both defenders do give their all and both came through the academy. With the signing of Tommy Elphick, who's obviously been brought in to be captain, and Jorah Zakora somewhat surprisingly committing his, his future to the club, I think it's quite apparent that at the moment, as it stands, Elphick and Akore will be the starting pairing. As I've mentioned, Elphick's obviously been brought in to be captain, and I think knowing that Di Matteo admired Akore when he was manager of Chelsea, I think that does leave Nathan Baker and Kieran Clark wondering about their future. Nathan Baker is now 25 years of age and Kieran Clark 26, so I think it's quite telling that a lot of Villa fans, me included, we still kind of feel like they are youngsters, which maybe is a bad sign and does tell us something about their game, but both have got admirers. I mean, Baker was on loan at Bristol City last season and by all accounts, he did very well and they're very keen to sign him back. And I think from what we're hearing as well, Tony Pulis is interested in bringing Kieran Clark to West Brom and we know that in his eyes, you can never have too many centre-backs. So obviously either could end up going as it stands. If I'm being quite honest, I, I do like Nathan Baker and I do like Kieran Clark. Theoretically, both should be hitting their peak, but I do think that it is probably time to now move one of them on. Uh, Clark, he had a good season a couple of seasons ago where he looked, looked very accomplished, but last season it was kind of back to the form that he was showing in, in Lambert's first season. I mean, I don't think he was as culpable as some others and I don't think it was all his fault, but he was part of a defence last season that was a shambles. Baker, as I mentioned before, he did well at Bristol City and he should now be what I like to call championship ready. So I, I do think that he probably holds an advantage over Clark at the moment in that he's had that season in the championship with Bristol and that he should know what to expect. Whereas I'm a bit worried that Clark, he may get, may get bullied at that level. I mean, he, we've seen him struggle against average strikers in the past, like Victor and Nietzsche B and Umber can't, I can't say his name, the, the, the big Norwich guy caused him some problems as well. So I think I'm more worried that Clark would get found out at championship level than I am Baker. One advantage Clark does hold over Baker is fitness. I mean, sometimes we've seen that Nathan Baker only has to look at a football and he's injured. I mean, I think he actually did manage to put together quite a good run of games with Bristol last season, which is something he's not ever really done at Villa. But he, the way he plays the game probably does make sure that he is going to have more injuries just, just because of the way he throws himself at every ball. And he is 100% committed. I don't think anyone can doubt that. But as I've just mentioned, I think Baker does hold a slight edge over Clark at the moment, despite there not being much between them ability-wise. As I've said, I, I do think that we probably need to, to part company with one of Clark or Baker. You've, you've also got Kevin Toner's emergence to think of as well. And would either of them really be happy with being fourth, fifth choice centre half at Villa next season in the Championship? I don't, I don't, I don't think they would anyway. Clark, he's probably a, a bit more sellable. He's got international experience. There's talk of a, of a £5 million release clause. One of the things that does worry me about Clark, and again, perhaps it is a bit harsh, is that really he only knows how to lose football games. Like so many of the players that have come to Villa under Lambert and then are, are still here now, there's just a losing mentality. And I think Clark has kind of, he's, he's forgotten how to win. He's one of those players who, who doesn't know how to win and it's, it's not through his, his own fault. But I think he's someone who would go on somewhere else and I think he'd do well. I think he'd benefit from not being at Villa Park. Pretty similar in the way that Mark Albrighton's gone to Leicester. I mean, I, people look back now and say that they're, they're upset he's gone. At the time, I don't remember people being too upset. I think he'd gone a bit stale at Villa. And I think that may be the case for Clark as well. So at the moment, I see more benefits to Clark being sold for both him and the club. So in conclusion, even though he is actually one of my current favourite Villa players, I do think that if it came to a, a choice out of Clark and Baker, that, that Clark should be the one to go for the, the, for the reasons I've just outlined. The main thing is that I think Baker is now ready for a, a full season in the Championship as a as a, maybe a third choice centre half to begin with, but we certainly are blessed with decent options at that level now, which, which is all good, especially when we do need to strengthen so many other areas. So I think maybe we'll see Clark go to West Brom to join Pulis's army of centre halves, and I think we maybe are quite set with the people coming through the academy and Acore 
Alfic and Baker ready to lead us into the new season. So that's it from the Villa View today. Remember, if you liked the video, to give it the thumbs up below. And also remember to comment. Do you agree with me? Do you think we should keep both? Maybe you think that we should bin both Clark and Baker. Do let us know in the comments section below. Remember, you can also subscribe to us on all our social media channels. The links are once again below. Thanks for watching the Villa View. <laughs> Particularly in Paul Lambert's first season. So I'm going to look at... Oh, I keep going off on... I don't know what, what I'm talking about and Joris Okore committing his future to the club. He does need... Bleh. Bikers and Clark's future have come a, a bit up in the air, so... Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Somewhat up in the air. Oh, I've done it wrong. So that's it for the Villa View today. Remember, if you... I didn't say Villa properly. Can't even talk. It's a wrap. It's not a very good wrap, but it's a wrap.